Good morning everyone! So I decided to vlog again today. It's been quite a while. I actually started two vlogs this weekend and I just dropped them, so sorry. <laughs> and I know no one really cares probably, but I care a bit. But anyways, it's morning and it's dark outside, like 6.56, and I have to go to the bus now. Like Hello again, it is 8 hours later. It is still dark, or dark again, depending on your <laughs> way of thinking. Uh, yeah, just been to work, so I don't know, can you even tell that it's 8 hours later? So I look a little bit more crushed. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, it gets dark really early right now. I know it's not totally dark, but it's dark. Dark. I said dark a lot. Okay, so um, now I'm just going to go upstairs to home, probably make some food, try to do Blog Lottie's workout, and then go to improv. So we'll see. Perhaps I will film some of this, perhaps not. That's why it's easier just to talk about it now in case I forget, so then you know what I'm doing. This is weird. I haven't vlogged for a while. I feel like I don't I know less of what I'm doing again, if that makes sense. Anyways, I wanna get upstairs. Bye. Hey everyone, so I just finished making some dinner. About to do air quotes, so I don't know why. Let's do that with food. I guess I'm used to like yeah, vegan versions of things. Anyways, just made some dinner. Um I had some bread first and then made a salad with one of my favorite dressings which is on our fridge on a beautiful post it which I will show right now. And yeah. Now I'm just going to improv. Hey, so I just finished the improv, walking home now. It's really cold. There's a person. I'm too shy to talk right now, it's so quiet. The most awkward. I'm back. Um, it's our second last class, a bit sad, but you know, I'm going to Malaysia in two weeks, so like good timing right after it's over I'm pretty nervous for we're having this like showcase at the end of the course which I feel like I should be more nervous for but it's meant to be mostly improv people there so hopefully not two people bring too many guests and it won't be so nerve-wracking um yeah I'm a bit dis or I don't know I feel like at this point of improv courses I always get discouraged I get to start it's all like kind of new and like fun and exciting and then you start getting a little bit good and then at this point it's like or a little bit good like just more comfortable and at this point it's like shouldn't I be better by now why do I still suck but I mean in real life I always think of the perfect response like five minutes later so it's no surprise that improv is much like that as well um yeah it's pretty cold right now. I can't wait for winter to be over so I can talk about other things in my vlogs besides it being dark and cold. I feel like those are two major boring topics of discussion. But yeah, out well, here I can show off a little bit of Thambere. Pretty. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, gonna walk home now. Um, yeah. I'll say goodbye to you or something before I go to bed. Hey, dear. Hey, guys. So I'm already in bed. Um, just about to go to sleep. Oh, I just finished watching the last episode of The Jinx um, for the second time. It's this documentary um, or docu-series, The Jinx, Life and Deaths of Robert Durst. I watched it over the weekend and now my boyfriend just watched it. So I watched the last episode again and... It is so disturbing and good and creepy and yeah, I don't want to spoil anything. I kind of spoiled everything for him when he watched it, but I also had everything kind of spoiled for me before I watched it, but it was still effective and interesting and disturbing and all that. But yeah, I also want to show you I'm just reading this book. It's called The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. I think it's a bit of like a young adult, if not almost children's book. But I really like Neil Gaiman, and I read good reviews about about it. I set a goal at the start of the year to read 24 books, and 
I'm not going to reach it all. I was doing really well up until May, but then I started biking. And so I wasn't taking the bus anymore, and that's where I got most of my reading done. So I think now I'm at like 14 books, so probably not going to read 10 books in a month, but just going to try to get as close as I can and also throw in some audiobooks in there as well. I remember when I made the goal, I was going to make it 12, because that's kind of like the goal I have every year, and then I don't reach it, but I thought, okay, I need to make it like a really ambitious goal because that way I can't be thinking in like February, like, oh, I've only read one book, but it's okay, I still have 10 months. And then, you know, you get to May and it's like, it's okay, I still have five months. So I thought if I have 24 books, that means two books a month and I have to kind of keep on that schedule. But yeah, so even though I failed, I actually surpassed my like other years quite well. So in a way it worked, but still feel like a failure. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, thank you for watching and subscribe to see more and give me a thumbs up if you liked it and don't know if I really talked about anything commentable but if you have any comments I always would like to hear them. Okay, good night. Bye.